first, my opening statement. Mm. The treatment of Vice President-elect Mike Pence last night in New York City, where he was booed on the way into the play Hamilton and lectured from the stage on his way out, was both outrageous and embarrassing. What happened in that theater, one block from this studio, was out and out reverse racism and teed up hate for a man who has done nothing to deserve this inappropriate and disgusting behavior by those who take it upon themselves to use what was supposed to be a night of art and recreation and appreciation for our American history as a political bully pulpit to chide the incoming vice president. Take a listen. <laughs> We, sir, we are the diverse America who are alarmed and anxious that your new administration will not protect us. Our planet, our children, our parents, or defend us and uphold our inalienable rights, sir. But we truly hope that this show has inspired you to uphold our American values and to work on behalf of all of us. This wonderful American story told by a diverse group of men and women of different colors, creeds, and orientations. You're kidding, right? You're alarmed the vice president is not going to protect us, our children, our parents, our planet, our values. Who's left? Al-Qaeda? Of course he's going to protect us, our parents, our children, our planet, and defend us. Why didn't you ask Hillary Clinton, part of the disastrous Obama administration that put so many Americans at risk when they were in charge, why didn't you ask her that when she attended Hamilton? No, you let her enjoy the show. Or Bernie Sanders, you even gave him a standing ovation. The vice president, our vice president-elect, from a family of veterans whose son is in the military, himself someone elected to serve in the House of Representatives for 12 years, elected the governor of a state, and now the vice president-elect of the United States, one, I might add, without a hint of scandal, this man is well aware of his obligation, and he deserves nothing but our respect and acceptance, especially when he chooses to come to your play about American history for his first real moment of relaxation with his family after a grueling campaign where he fought not only the Democrats, but the media, the pollsters, the talking geniuses, the establishment, the White House, and even Jay-Z. You had your week to cry your eyes out and have your temper tantrums. You holier-than-thou liberals in this country have to start looking in the mirror. Last night violates everything you say that you stand for. That big tent, the inclusive, broad-minded acceptance of everyone, even people who don't look or act like you. What happened to your old love trumps hate line? You're all damn hypocrites. You think that you and people who think like you are the only ones who deserve respect. Well, let me tell you something. This guy won fair and square in spite of the rigged system that you think is so damn democratic. Your party, your candidate was rejected and you lost. Now you cry, babies, want to rethink the electoral college. Now. You're Hamiltonians. You're students of American history. Why not hip hop about the Electoral College? Or is that the part of the Constitution that you just want to ignore? Do I need to remind you it's called Article 2 of the United States Constitution? Maybe you want to dance about Hamilton. Why not dance about that? Not part of your agenda? Well, let me tell you something. Everyday Americans, forgotten Americans, most of whom can't afford 
afford tickets to your play and may not even have heard of Hamilton, got up and they voted, even though they were told it wouldn't matter. They voted because they were fed up against your policies, because your party spends too much and you regulate too much and your party's nominees are corrupt. You and your bloated federal government and your global fantasies about bringing in the rest of the world and you don't give a damn who's paying for it and you don't care who can afford it. The middle class and the low income classes have had just about enough. And they didn't just reject your presidential candidate, they rejected your Senate, your House, and your governorships. Get used to it. And I've got news for you. Don't lecture this man. You may know a little about hip hop and dancing around a stage. I majored in American history and I saw the play Hamilton and I loved it. But you just took the fun, the enjoyment, and the memory of that play right out of me. Which might explain why the number one hashtag that's trending right now is hashtag boycott Hamilton. And that's my open. <laughs> Tell me what you think on my Facebook page or Twitter. Hashtag Judge Janine.